Hey guys, we're gonna keep on working on our fall tree. So to do that, I've got a couple options for you. Today's gonna be a very like open creative day. I'm gonna let you kind of choose how you're gonna finish this, but I'm gonna show you some examples. One way you could finish your picture is if you just want to use crayons, which I have misplaced. <laughs> but if you just want to use crayons, you could color in some grass and go on and put all the different leaves, okay? Um, I'll show you that with markers because I have those right here. But um, when you're doing that, what I want you to do is let's pretend that we're going to say this is Mr. Galloway's tree. La, 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 la. All right, let's say that's my tree. So when you're doing the leaves, what I want you to do is don't just color and scribble and go out. I do want you to try to put some leaves on it. So we're going to think about our fall colors. And fall colors are always very warm colors. If you think of a fire going with those orange and red and yellow leaves. Well, don't think of forest fires, but it's kind of like that. <laughs> the leaves turn those flamey colors, which are beautiful. So we want to put some fall color leaves in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red, and I'm going to kind of just draw some almost like little ovals. I want to put some little red leaves on the end of some of my branches to make it look quite lovely. So this is one option you could kind of draw your leaves on. Then I'm going to go to orange, and I'm going to put more leaves. I'll kind of put them on some of my other branches, maybe some branches I didn't get to yet, maybe beside some of my red leaves, maybe all about. I'm going to fill in some more orangey leaves. Oh my goodness, it's looking so cute. Then I can get to the yellow, the amarillo, and I can go around and put some final little fiery, beautiful leaves in my sky. Like so. Awesome. So if you were using crayons or something like that, this would be a really fun way to put some leaves in your picture. Yep. Now, um, I will say if you use markers on top of crayon, it kind of works. You know, I think it'll work since we did it sideways. So you could do it with markers on the crayons like that. Now, I want to show you another option. If you don't want to use crayons or markers and just draw your leaves on, we could do some fun collaging. Now around your house you probably have lots of boxes. You might have cereal boxes or food boxes or uh, marker and crayon boxes, but there are lots of boxes that you might be recycling off and on. Um, you might even want to peek in your recycling bin. But what I want you to think about, this is another way we could finish our tree, is to take some of those boxes and try to pluck some colors from it. So let's watch. I've got this little box. It's an extra marker box that I might not be using later. So I'm going to just cut a little slice from that box, like so. Okay. And what I can do is I can find the colors I want. Look at that little warm color spectrum right there. That's beautiful. So I could actually go in and carefully cut some little leafy shapes. Oh, that's going to be cool. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut up a bunch of little boxes trying to find some colors I could use for my fall leaves. This has a lot of yellow I could use, which would be really pretty. I'm just going to start chopping them up, chopping them up. Maybe I'll speed up this part so that you guys don't get bored. <laughs> now, what I can do next is I've got all these beautiful leaves. I could, I probably, you know, I could keep cutting more and more and more. I could find perfect colors. Um, I haven't used some of these greens and blues since the leaves kind of change colors. I thought that would look really cute. But what I can do 
is with my glue bottle. This is an option if you have glue and scissors at home, which a lot of you do, I know from your videos. But what I could do with this is I could um, actually get my glue bottle and put just little, a little tiny dot of glue on the end of some of my tree branches. And then I could take these cut out leaves bloop, and I could stick them on. Now if you have a glue stick, that would work as well. You could um, put a little glue on the back of these and stick them on. But this would be a really fun way to um, decorate your tree with leaves. I think that would look beautiful if I kept putting all these little leaves about in my trees like that. And I could even cut out a bunch of greens, a bunch of little green slices to put some grass down. Now this could be cool, watch this. Um, I'm just gonna take this little chunk off. <laughs> and I can cut little, almost little slices like this. And you might want to do some bigger pieces to cover some of that space first, like some bigger chunks of green. But then you could cut and glue little grassy lines down here with some greens. So that would be a beautiful way to do your fall tree with some cardboard um, from recycled boxes and stuff like that. Or if you have construction paper or any kind of colored paper you want to use, that would look really good. So that's option two. Now I have a third option that's going to be really fun as well. So this last option is something you could do. <laughs> I got some of my leaves staying, but that's okay. Of course I glued them. I glued them. Um, the third option is you could use paint. If you have paint at home, like a watercolor tray, you could use that and kind of put on some lovely um, leaves onto your picture that way. Oh no, Mr. Galloway's paintbrush vanished. Hold on a second. <laughs> so, um, if you have paints, you could go in and put some little painted leaves and painted grass on this and that would be beautiful if you have watercolor or tempera paint or anything but if you don't have paint but you want to use paint here's a little tip i showed some of my kids the other week um, if you have a piece of aluminum foil and you have some markers check this out if you take that marker and you just kind of color a part of your aluminum foil like so okay and then you take your brush and you dip her in the water, you can rub it on that and it's going to kind of turn that marker into paint. Then you can go and start blotting some little leaves on your picture that way. And that could be really cute. And since we colored the crayon first, it's going to look really neat. Okay. So um, then you could do your warm fall colors like I mentioned cleaning out your brush every time you change colors and we can kind of put some fun little leaves in your trees or when you're doing your grass check this out I could do some green for my grass but I'm also going to do some yellow and I'll show you why put some yellow down and what I can do is I could start with yellow kind of do some yellowy grass which looks a little weird at first but then I can get my green and mix it in and blotch it like this and it'll make it look like beautiful splotchy grass just a nice limey color yep so that could look awesome so I don't want to totally control you because I want to see what you can do. If you have any ideas I didn't say that you want to do that you want to use to make your leaves, that would be amazing. But I cannot wait to see all your creativity as you finish your fall tree.
once you're finished. Post a picture of it on Seesaw so I can see. And maybe Mr. Galloway will try to guess what you used. That could be fun. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you had fun with art today. I'll talk to you next time.